What's going on guys? Welcome back. This video is gonna be a little different. This video is gonna gonna be little bits of everything here and there. Um, the major work is uh, pretty much done. So on today's episode we're gonna we're gonna start working on all the A and lines that uh, we gotta install here. So we're gonna do the one for the oil cooler, or the reservoir over there, for the radiator, all those. A water outlet. Maybe get to the fuel lines as well. So that's pretty much all we got left aside from uh, wiring and some other stuff in the interior, but we're gonna get to that later. For now, we're just gonna go ahead and start working on all those hoses. So uh, stay tuned and uh, I hope you like this one. I know this is not gonna be for everybody. But anyways, uh, it's progress. So thank you for watching anyways. Alright, so we're gonna start here with my oil, my oil cooler. So it sits right there, and I'm hoping that it doesn't hit the uh, intercooler pipe. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty close though. So I'm gonna install that now, and uh, we go from there. All right. Well, the oil cooler doesn't work there anymore. Um, I'm not gonna modify that pipe. I think I'm gonna put it over here. And th on that side, since I got the our steering pump right there is kind of uh, in a hard spot anyway and since I'm not running the oil cash can down here like I used to I'm just gonna put it right there I got a lot more space but anyways I'm gonna make a bracket for that later but now I'm just gonna focus on this guy and this is a lid for the fuel tank so I used to have one out of metal it looked pretty nice but the uh, the new tank is sitting a little higher and uh, it's hitting the lid so I'm gonna have to make a new one I'm gonna make it out of aluminum so I don't gotta worry about it uh, painting it or any of that so I got the rough template cut out uh, marked on here so I'm just gonna cut it out and I'll show you what I got working with So just to catch you up to speed here, um, I cut the center section out. I had to cut this guy. I drill some holes and I put some bends. Uh, drill some holes and I put some bends on it to match the uh, the floor of the uh, the car. And that looks something like this. Let's walk up to the car here. So that's my floor right there. It will say something like that. So you can see it's pretty flush. And uh, I'm gonna put some rib nuts to the sheet metal of the car. And this would just be held down with some Allen bolts. So now I'm gonna have to weld this piece that I cut back on to that and add a like a plate around it to to cover this hole and that should uh, that should be it for this guy <laughs> So this thing is done and it is super hard. I could probably stand on it. Makes the floor, yeah, it's extra steady. So that's good because once you cut out that hole in here, this uh, this is a pretty flimsy metal. It was uh, moving around a lot. Whenever you put some pressure on it, it will move. But now, now you can probably stand on that thing. 
and uh, it keeps the fuel away from me, so that's great. All right, on to the next. All right, so the next topic in hand is uh, my oil cash can. I don't know if you saw my, like about two, three videos ago that this was too close to the turbo and that wasn't gonna work. And I was talking about making another one. Well, one of you commented, his name was Alec, and he had a good idea. He, uh, he told me about cutting these guys out, tapping a hole and just putting a, a short 90 on there. Just like so. So you can see it's probably level with my with my AM bunks here. So I'm gonna do that for the rest of these and uh, put it back on the car. So thanks again, Alec. Uh, man, you, you saved me some work. Well, that worked, so that, that's awesome. I don't have to make a new one. They're pretty close, but I got about a finger gap there. And if I turn it this way, it gets even further away from it. But this is just an oil cash can, so not a whole lot of oil is gonna flow through there. I hope, if I do, something is really wrong. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and move to these, uh, this side here. So, like I said before, I'm gonna put the oil cooler here. And these, I'm glad I forgot to send these out to get uh, powder coated because uh, I'm going to build uh, brackets off of these to hold a new uh, place. Alright, here's the oil cooler. Let's see how I show this. It's probably going to sit somewhere like this. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm afraid it's gonna hit the bumper, but I can't put an AN line right there because it's gonna hit the frame. So you're probably gonna have to be in an angle, something like this. Maybe something like that. Well, still under the frame. Maybe like this. It's not going past that little piece up there. That should work. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep playing around with this and uh, and go from there. Alright guys, so I made this little bracket yesterday, my camera ran out of battery and uh, I wanted to keep uh, keep on working. So I made this, it's a pretty simple bracket, it's kind of like a U shape or V shape, but I'll show you, I'll show you where, that, where that goes in a minute. So here's what we got, it's just a simple bracket to hold that side of the oil cooler but still allow the A and line to to tread on here and uh, you know go where it needs to go. So now on this side over here, you get away from the sun, uh, that's better. So on, on this side over here, I want to go ahead and add a piece off of this tube over here with two Two bolts to hold it right there and then the bottom I'm actually gonna have to cut it cut this tap right here that guy so that it can go a little lower because if you look at it from the front it's kind of tilt so I need it to see flat so I'm gonna have to cut that and lower it a little bit 
Alrighty guys, so I added my bracket right there. So I'll weld it. If the camera will focus on it. There you go. And then that back there is also finished. So the next thing that I'm gonna add to it, since I don't have the AM fittings yet, I'm gonna add a duct to it. This is what I'm referring to. All right, so here's the dock that I was talking about. So that's going to direct air right into it through the fault light, which is somewhere around here. So all the air is just gonna go right through the cooler. And uh, sorry, I mean, sorry this video is all over the place. Uh, it's, it's pretty much what I got left to do here. So I'm just bringing you guys along with it. Um, so we're gonna have to wait for now. The fittings and the hoses are coming my way. They're just taking a little bit. So this video is actually gonna be a little bit delayed. But anywho, I'm gonna keep on working on little stuff here and there uh, to prepare for those. Check this out guys. So that's gonna scoop air from the outside. Going through here, through that other scoop, and through the back of these. So I was already checking. Whoops. I was already checking some clearances here and these guys is actually lower than my fault light. So what I'm going to do is cut my bumper up and I know why you're doing that but at the same time this bumper is uh, it's a piece of crap. <laughs> it has been through a lot and it's due for replacement so I don't feel bad about cutting it. I cut it before, I'll cut it again. So right here is where I'm going to have my, my hole. Uh, I'm gonna make it as clean as possible to follow these uh, these two lines, you know, make it seem uh, like it was meant to be there. But that hole is gonna line up perfect with that right there. So I'm gonna try to do that now. See see what it looks like. Alright, so taking a look back here, uh, you can see what I'm working with. So that's the fault light right there, the housing, and that's the duct down there. So I'm gonna trim the uh, the flancher on the edges a little bit, and uh, that should help it um, slide in. If not, I'll remove the fault light for now just to to get it seated, and then uh, I'll put it back in. I'm just cutting away with uh, no hesitation whatsoever. That's what happens when you don't care about something. You just go ahead and cut. But other than the other note, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna put it on the car, see final result. Um, so these rivets are for now. That's just to hold it in place. This is gonna get a like a metal trim around this edge. Probably a mesh on it, I don't know yet. And um, yeah, this bumper probably gonna get replaced because I have to get rid of these canards right here on the side. And that's four more holes on each side that I'm gonna have to close up. I don't know. I might just get rid of this bumper and get another one. In any case, let me try this on now. All right, see the light in the background? That's, uh, that's me lighting up the back of the oil cooler. Look at that, straight shot to it. So that should work as, uh, as intended. Let me uh, bring you around here so you can see what we got inside. 
See that? The duct, the coupler, and the other one hooked up to the bumper. It's the oil cooler, so it won't need any fans. Now I just gotta put back the fog light there. And I get to keep the fog light. Look at that. So, so that's it for that guy. Now I'm moving on. Alrighty, so next up we're moving up to the inside here and I'm gonna go ahead and put back the parachute handle and finish up the cable routing all the way to the back. See the cable sitting right there. So I'm gonna do it now. So I got the cable running all the way up there to the front. It's held by zip ties. Um, I'm thinking of probably getting orange zip ties so they're not that in your face, you know. And then uh, the cable is back here, which I gotta go through there and put a put a hole in the bumper there and get the cable out that way. Um, but that's that's it for now because I still gotta send this stuff to get powder coated. So I'm gonna wait for that. All right, so another thing I wanted to show you is this. I got this little drain for the oil cash can done. See a hose uh, coming down here on this little valve. So you just push it up to open it. It will drain out and then you just close it back up. That way you don't have to uh, remove the oil cash can every time you wanna, you wanna drain it. And then the hose is extra long just so that I can trim it. Uh, once the uh, splitter is installed, but yeah, it's super solid in there. It's not moving, and that valve works perfect. Take a look from the top. Got my AN into the into the tank right there, and the hood coming down to the little valve. So yeah, super happy with that. And then moving up to the back here. Another thing that I got up here, oh, I put the fender on. Uh -huh. It's right here. So I took the uh, latch off and that was all the way over there. Cable coming through the floor, all the way up here. I don't want that anymore. This is a cable. This is a cable right here. So I don't want that to be up there anymore. So I'm gonna make it short and I'm going to install this guy somewhere in here. So to pop that open, I will have to open the trunk and then pull this lever. And uh, you know, this is not gonna be a street car, it's a race car, so it doesn't matter, but at least it'll be back here. I can just pull on it here and fill up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do that now. All right, so I got it installed right there. As you can see, if I pull on the latch, see how it moves. So that's what locks this in place. So yeah, I'm just gonna make this cable short because it's hella long. All right, so I, fo I found this spot right here. It has already a threaded hole and then an empty hole right here. And this is a perfect location for this. It's gonna be right there. And uh, I, had to, I had to drill a hole on this guy and cut it. That piece was extra long, but that should work just fine so what i'm gonna do is i put a a, a red nut you can see it there there you go i already have it loaded here so i just gotta put that red knot in there and bolt
All right, this is it guys. It's all installed. Cable is uh, running to there. So you can see I have it closed right now and if I pull on it, it's all good to go. The lever is right here, so this is rich, right? And it's open again. All right, uh, moving on. All right, guys, so the next thing is, if we move up to the floor, uh, step over my Corvette here. Uh, next thing here is a mount for my um, fuel pressure regulator. Let me show you that. Sitting right here, this guy. All right, so this one, I had it just straight out of the rail right here. I never liked how that looked. So I'm gonna I'm gonna relocate it down here. It's kind of uh, away from everything. So for that, I'm gonna have to make a mount to go from that uh, bolt right there that that used to be for the OEM uh, fuel rail, but I'm not running that anymore. So I'm gonna have this guy sitting right here. Alright, so the fuel pressure regulator is mounted as you can see. That was a quick little bracket there that worked great. And um, I got clearances all around for all the hoses that are gonna go through here. So so that's pretty much done. So let's see. See what can I do next here. Alright guys, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, the AN lines never got here with all this uh, snow in Texas. It's pretty bad up there so that delayed the shipping by a lot so still don't have him yet anyway I didn't got I think we got a lot done in this video so but that's gonna be on the next ones right it's not like I'm gonna keep you out of it I'm gonna show it to you but not not now so thank you all so much for watching I'll see you on the next one